Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to discuss about the NIH postdoc fellowships and these are fellowships awarded by the National Institute of Health and some bodies affiliated with it and these are fellowships to do postdoctoral research in the US. Now to avail of this fellowship you must have finished your PhD five years before or less. So that's the timeline which you need to have to apply for this postdoctoral fellowship. So let us look at this fellowship more deeply. Again the basic idea here is to give these fellowships to recent PhD degree recipients who can complete postdoc in the intramural research programs of the NIH. And one of the objectives here is to develop research skills and explore new research fields and careers. So again you probably know that over the years bio type of fields have become very important in terms of research and also these fields are now such that they require a lot of inputs from the other fields. So this fellowship is not only open to people from the biological background but also from backgrounds such as engineering, psychology, mathematics, physics, computer science etc. So, there are a lot of problems nowadays which are at the fringes or at the boundaries of fields such as engineering and biology, computer science and biology, mathematics and biology. So in fact there is a field which is known as mathematical biology for example. So what you get to do is you get to do full time research jobs at the NIH institutes and centers including at the main campus in Bethesda, Maryland. So this is in the northeast part of US near Washington DC. Now they have given some scientific focus fields. So these are the fields where the research is typically focused on where most of the PIs are working. So these fields are biomedical engineering, biophysics, cell biology, cancer biology, chromosome biology, chemical biology, computational biology, clinical biology, clinical research, developmental biology, genetics, health disparities, RNA biology, genomics, neuroscience, structural biology, stem cell biology, virology and systems biology. So this is just a small subset of the plethora of disciplines mentioned on their web page but this gives you an idea that most of these fields are related to biology to some extent chemistry and physics and of course you can have applications coming in from the various other disciplines I mentioned before such as from engineering, from mathematics, from physics, computer science etc. Now I am going to provide you with the link to the web page in the description box. You can check out the principal investigator by name and look at the different fields they are working in and you can work in the research group led by the PI. So, this fellowship is open of course to US citizens and permanent residents but also this is a very open fellowship. If you are a foreign national you can always get the J1 visa to work on this fellowship. In fact these are the type of fellowships which are ideally suited for J1 visas because they are being sponsored by the government. The J1 visa is relatively easy to get and so on. They do mention that in certain cases you can avail of this fellowship as part of the F1 practical training and you can also get the H1B visa through this process though this is very rare but they do mention that this is something which is possible. Now let us look at some of the benefits which accrue to you. You get paid health coverage and this is very good. Of course you get a decent salary so if you have 0 to 1 year experience the salary is more than 60,000 US dollars per year and if you are on a J1 visa this is probably not going to be taxed also. Some more things they mention is they give a lot of importance to diversity and inclusion. So if you are any candidate who is coming from a background which contributes to diversity as seen through the US perspective then this is very beneficial and also this thing requires you to have a PhD within the last five years. So that is what they define as the relatively young PhD who is eligible for the postdoc that is your scientific age it should be five years or less. Remember the scientific age is the age after the PhD degree has been obtained. Finally you have to go through a federal background check and some 
of these other formalities before you are given this postdoc. Now, I would of course say the NIH postdocs are highly prestigious and they are also postdocs which are open to people of all nationalities from throughout the world which is in contrast to the NRC postdocs which are often limited to only US citizens in many cases because many of the national labs which take part in the NRC postdocs tend to be related to defense or military application or dual use technology but the NIH is typically focused on problems such as removal of diseases such as uh, trying to find out some of the root causes of different health problems and so on and so this research is very fundamental in nature you will be on the cutting edge of science and technology and you will be using your research in trying to find out some problems which are festering mankind so it's going to be very useful at the end of this postdoc you can of course get job in a plethora of the pharmaceutical companies in the companies related to biosciences and also in companies related to bioinformatics and so on you may also be able to get a university job because if you know people at NIH then your marketability goes up substantially in terms of getting a faculty position because these people who you know will become prospective sources of giving you grants when you are an assistant professor and so on so again just like in many of these named fellowship you form a cohort of friends who will be with you for the rest of your life so i hope this video is uh, beneficial to you and i hope you enjoyed the bird songs also in the process and i will see you in a video sometime soon see you then